what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? It is a day of a day of a day of another day of another day of another day. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Um, hmm. It is officially Wednesday. And, um, January. Mm, the week of Martin Luther King's birthday. And, um, I want to talk to you about something I've talked to you about before. I'm going to talk about it, you know, to you again as well. Hmm. You know, I'm doing this thing like you. We're trying to figure out this thing called life and what does it all means and to our happiness that we all strive for to try to get to at the end of the day. You know, um... I think it's much more easy in life to just be true to you, even though a lot of times we're really not allowed to be true to ourselves because of the simple fact of the matter is that everybody wants to be accepted, but we're all not going to be accepted. That's what makes us all different, you know, and a lot of times with girls like me, you know, we want to blend in. We want people to, like, walk up to us and really give us love and not really pay attention to what we really are, you know, and that being said. You know, um, I was listening to a couple of girls and stuff like that, and they were talking about being clocked and stuff like that, you know, being clocked on the street, and, you know, um, I think about that as well. I guess most girls do think about that, you know, even the most passable girls get clocked. You know, and the thing about it is, I believe that, this is my opinion, I believe that if you want to learn, like, different things, girls like me and the transsexuals, and just like the trans men, if you want to learn, like me, the trans men seem to have a little bit more together, but... I mean, I'm on, that, I'm on the outside looking in. I really don't know because they could always tell me better than I could because that's their world. Anyway, so the girls like me, the reason why a lot of us are, you know, you, you get clogged. See, I'm just going to speak from the point of view of a person. I, I see what happens, you know, because me, myself, you know, I'm six foot tall, blonde hair, don't give a fuck, makeup, sun hit it any way I want to hit it. It is what it is. But there are some girls out there which I have empathy for, and I'm not going to talk about the way I feel about it. I'm going to talk about as far as the girls like you, the ones who want to be passable, non-clockable, and stuff like that. This is what you got to do, as far as I see, you know, if you really want to live in that world or their world, and, you know, I get it, you know. So this is the thing you have to do. You have to do less is more. And when I say less is more, I mean as far as makeup. A lot of times you girls go out and you do the nighttime drag in the daytime. You got on lashes, you got on purples and blues and orange and greens and all this other stuff. Your lips and everything is painted to the gosh. You got on this much thick fucking makeup. Now let's just ask yourself. Just imagine if you were not a transsexual and you saw a female, genetic female, that was outside the street. She was painted like that. Wouldn't you stare at her? When you go, mmm. She's painted to the gods. What's up with her? You, you keep looking back at her. You keep looking back at her. Sure, you may question, is that a girl? Is that a tranny? You know, I'm questioning because she's painted. Then you look at the body and everything. You say, hmm, hmm. That's the same thing happens to females. The same thing's going to happen to you. I think a lot of times we put more emphasis into whether somebody goes spook out tea or the ones who sit out there and say, well, I got clocked. The guy called me a man. I hate to tell you this, but a lot of females get called men, too. Females get called men, bitches, everything across the board, but females do get called dudes. They even get called dudes in front of a lot of people, so, you know, I wouldn't take too much offense to it, because you have to understand, when you start listening to their words, that means they matter to more than you, or you matter to yourself. And remember, their opinion of you does not matter, and anything they think of you is none of your business. What you say, baby? Say it again. Anything they think of you is none of your, none of their business. <laughs> Anything they think of you is none of your business because they do not matter. They're just a blur in the light that just seem to be dim until they walk past. And the thing about it is with a lot of girls, you know, you, you, you paint your face to the cops. I understand a girl's like, I want to be painted. Then paint. You know, but you have to understand when you put it all out there, you got to look. People are going to look. I got eyes, I look. I look at I look at all crazy shit. You look at crazy shit. How many times you ever find yourself staring at somebody you didn't realize you're staring at them, but you're staring at them? And then when someone does, you like, oh my god, what, what's the problem? What's the problem? But we all look. We look. We walk we walk the earth. We we see different things. We're gonna look. It's just a part of life. 
You know, and you know the girls are like, well, guys are like, that's a dude, that's a dude. It don't matter. At the end of the day, whatever they say, it really don't matter. You don't have to acknowledge it. You can just ignore it because ignorance has to exist somewhere. Sometimes it has to exist that person right in front of you. You know, a lot of girls, you know, you don't want to be clogged. My thing is this is that walk around with wash face for a little different things, you know, that you don't have to put that much makeup on if you don't have need any at all. You can wear your head snatched. You don't have to do it all. Be Oops. You don't have to do it all Beyonce up walking down the street. You just give it and then give it and give it. You can just walk. You know, and all the girls like us, we always give that something extra. You know, step, because I know I do. And the simple fact of the matter is that, you know, it don't matter. And you have to learn to walk past people like this. And when I do that, I'm letting you know I'm still taking you in, even though you walk past me. Because I'm waiting for you to... But then again, don't listen to me. <laughs> I need... I, I'm, I'm, first of all, we already know I'm working on myself. Like I said, I'm trying to get there. I'm, I'm not there yet. That's why maybe no date. Because if another man come through here and try me one more fucking time, honey, y'all just keep motherfucking channel 911 to 4 power. I'll make all the channels. And I'm going to be just like this. Against the wall, honey. And there it is. Because I'm not, I'm just not there. And, you know, I'm not going to go into all that. But the reason why, um, you know, a lot of girls get clock and stuff like that is that's because, and the reason why we use the word clock is because you care. Clock wouldn't exist if you didn't give a fuck. You be like, spook me, bitch. That's how I feel. I be like, but spook me, bitch. I don't really give a fuck. Now, if you put your hands on me, we may run into a little situation. And I'm not, I'm not the one that's going to sit here and say, well, no, 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 no. You can do all this all you want. I'll stand right there because I'm developing my strength. And I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, that's going to the left again. Um, I'm working on myself. I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I love men. I don't want men to think I don't love them because I do love men. I'm just not ready for a man trying to get at me yet. I'm just, I'm a work in progress. You know, I have to get back to where I once was. But like a lot of people say, well, you know, where you got? I know what you're saying and I'm not going to disagree with you. I believe you're correct. But I have to work what works for me because if I'm not going to be in a situation with a dude, you know. And um, I'm about to kill that motherfucker because he come up in here and try to with me one more time. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm afraid of my anger because I suppress it so much. And you girls like me, you know, we suppress a lot of anger. We, we, su we suppress a lot of anger, a lot of judgment, a lot of name calling, a lot of laugh, a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of shit they do to us. We go, we sit there with that moment of silence. You ever do that when you just stop and just breathe? You go, and you don't say nothing. And that I'm this, I, that's how I am. When I'm mad, you won't get one word out of me. Because all I'm waiting for is ding, 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 and baby. <laughs> I'll be drunk in love. I'll be all night. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Um, I want to say hello to all new people. And like I said before, once you care so much about being clocked, you shouldn't give a fuck. Stop trying to fit in your world. You already got a world. We in our world, honey. Stay in our world. Stop trying to fit in there. Fuck them. Anyway, I want to say hello, new people. Boom. I want to say old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then get in clock. Then fuck them all.